Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video with your host Ken Kukin and we have the dissecting video from the Salvation's Edge raid. So this is Salvation's Edge raid encounter number four and you want to do the dissecting. We will also hopefully incorporate um, a successful revive of all the Guardians at the end of this video unlike the last one where it failed and I only just talked about how, it su how you would succeed. Um, and you know, we just kind of failed. So I go ahead and send myself into the hole right away and I take myself out. This guarantees that at least one person, if two people do this, one of those people still might be sent into the room. So I take myself out as the sole person to guarantee that I stay in this room and I, I can dissect, right? And I did this for the footage. So I went ahead, jumped off the map. There's a hole in the middle. You can jump down and it'll, you know, your guardian will die. And now I run over here. And I'm waiting for my teammates to tell me what the shapes are. So in the bottom right corner of the screen, you're going to see it. A C, an S, and a T. That means that the inside team went, and this will be the last time I talk about them. The inside team went in. Someone immediately called out, hey, it's a circle, a square, and a triangle from left to right in that order. Right? And then they typed it in the chat for me to remember. Right? Uh, if you're on PC, you know, just have the PC player type it in the chat real quick as a reference. So it's a circle, square, and a triangle. So what that means is, the, the shorthand of it is, if the guardian on the left, on the inside rooms, is holding a circle, that means the guardian on the left in my room, the outside room, wants to hold a square and a triangle. They do not want a circle there, right? So I want to make sure no circles are on that guardian. So what do I do? The first thing I do is... You know, I look and I identify what I need. Now, I do have a cheat sheet we will pull up real quick. Bam, we can reference this right here. These are the shapes. These are the 3D shapes in the outside room you can see. This is what the shapes are comprised of, right? You have right here, right here, right here. It just tells you a sphere is consistent uh, with two circles, a cube with two squares, and a triangle or a pyramid with two triangles, right? And on the other side, you have a cylinder, which is a square and a circle, a cone, which is a triangle circle, and a prism, which is a triangle square, right? So if we look back, well, I'll just tell you, I'm looking at the screen, it's a circle, right? So if I look at my little cheat sheet above, right, I type this out in my Discord for myself, a circle wants a prism. What consists of a prism? A triangle and a square. And then I look back in the game and we'll show it real quick. Okay, what's in this guardian's hand on the left? It's a cone, right? So there's a circle in that shape because, one, I, I've gotten used to it, so I know that there's a circle. I can tell there's a, there's, a circular, there's a circular shape at the bottom of that cone, right? So I already know that, oh, I just need a circle and I need to dissect it from there, right? But I can go back to this image real quick and be like, okay, in this guardian's hand, there's a cone. What does the cone consist of? A triangle and circle. Okay. What do they need? If they're holding a circle, they want a prism. So if they are holding a triangle and a circle and they want a prism, which is a triangle and a square, that means I want to remove the circle from that and put a square into that, right? So it's kind of like moving planets in the uh, in the Root of Nightmare Rage, right? Where we're moving planets around. You would, you would light up two shapes, right? And I'll explain it. You'll see it in a moment. You'll take two shapes and shift them between the three statues, right? So... I'm like, okay, it's a circle on the left. Let's go ahead and bam, there's a circle. It drops from that knight. So we kill a knight to spawn a shape. Three knights spawn at a time usually, right? So we kill those knights. I kill a knight, and then the people out here, if they're not doing my job, they're ad clearing. So there's nothing, nothing else matters to them but just destroying things constantly. I don't have them tell me what shapes are where because I don't want anyone to talk over anyone else to, and they break their concentration of what they're doing. It's just, I just go around and look for my shapes from the knights, and I just jump up in the air, check, whatever. So I pick up the circle, and I want to dissect it. So that means I pick the circle up, and I bring it to the statue on the left. I'm going to deposit it. It says dissecting. It says dissect on the middle of the screen. That means I'm going to take away that shape. So I'm going to put a circle in it and take the circle out of it. The statue is going to light up yellow. That means it's primed. It's ready to move a shape, you know to another statue so now ideally i would want a square but i don't look for a square too hard i think i just grabbed this triangle 
which kind of messes me up. I should have killed the other knight, and if it would have dropped a square, I would have been that much closer to having all the shapes I needed moved. So because I didn't see the knight and I probably didn't look too high up for it, I tried to take the triangle to the middle. Now, the middle has a cube in its hand, if you didn't notice. There is no triangle for me to remove from there, right? So I've already went the wrong way. So now I'm about to have three true shapes. I'm about to have a... S the last thing you want, and we're gonna reference the we're gonna reference the uh, the image. I have a pyramid, a cube, and a sphere. Take my word for it. We're gonna reference this image, and I'm gonna explain. If you are dissecting and you have any of these shapes right here on the left, you made a mistake. It's a mistake. It's a mistake. It's a mistake. None of these will ever be the correct answer. Answer right. So if you use this sheet sheet. You want one of these three. You will never want any of these. If you have even one of these, you messed up, right? Even one means you messed up, and nobody's going to successfully complete the encounter if that's messed up. All right, so now I have true shapes. Now I have to do even more dissecting. I have to move things around way more. So it's like, okay, um, let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, a tip right there. Because I was looking for a square to ideally move in a much efficient manner, I should have just looked for the square. So, um, real quick, uh, I went in to dissect one time, and I'm I'm very good at dissecting now. It took enough. I did it enough times that I'm very good at it. I can make the first correct lock, which is what I'm doing. I'm making a lock for my teammates. They're making keys. I'm making the locks. I can make one correct lock within a shift, right? Once I do that, even though there was a triangle on the ground, but I really wanted a square, I should have waited to find the square. This is one of those few times where it's like, okay, I'm going to let the shape despawn, right? I should have just ignored the triangle, looked very, very hard, because the third knight should have been in the room, looked very, very hard for another knight to have dropped a square and went with that. I should have waited for what I needed instead of picking up what I didn't need at the time, right? Um, because I had already primed on the left, and I did not want a true shape there. I just wanted a square. If I would have got a square there, I probably would have had two locks ready to go. Um, no, I would have had one rock, lock ready to go, and then I would have only needed to shift two more shapes. So I made three true shapes, a pyramid, a cube, and a sphere. And there's the square that if I would have went looking for it, I would have not been in this position. So now it's like, okay, if I'm referencing the bottom right corner of the screen, it's a square. Right, so I, I look at this cheat sheet image. I'm not going to pull it up again. Um, the square wants a cone, so first and foremost, I know that the square doesn't need to be here, so I just immediately take the square here. And it's like, all right, I'm going to remove this, so I'm going to dissect the square from here. So I put the square in there, and I need one of the other two shapes, it doesn't matter a circle or a triangle, it doesn't matter which one because eventually I'm going to need one of each of them there. So here are unstop ogres, I'm not really paying attention to because I'm just I'm probably, at this point, I wasn't as efficient as I wanted to be, and I'm trying to be like, oh, what do I need? What do I need? I'm probably referencing the picture. And it's like, oh, boom, there's a triangle. Do I pick it up? Uh, I'm probably still just a little bit lost. I do apologize, but this is a successful thing. So I just bring it over here to the triangle. So like, just get rid of the true shapes. Now we're at the point where the guardians are dead. So it's like, okay, this is the part where you want to understand whose ghost is what, because you don't see... The ghost standing by a guardian. I explained that in the other video, and I'll explain it again when we get to that part. Um, when we successfully get everyone out of the room, I actually think I ignore the ghost here. So I grab the circle, and I go prime it in the sphere, and then I'm gonna take the square. And the square, we know I don't want a square in the middle, so I believe I'm gonna bring it right to the middle. Bam! So I believe I've completed one lock right there, just instantly. And then I grab up the water bottle ghost. I grab the ghost and I say, hey, I have the water bottle ghost, right? Um, and then someone would tell me where that ghost belonged out of the six statues, right? But because I'm the, I should be the last one to go, I run up here and True hasn't dunked in his stuff yet, so. And then he just did, so now it's like, okay, what's the last statue, right? So I was the last one to grab. Some people, the dissectors won't grab any ghosts and they'll just focus on dissecting, but... Um, if once you get proficient at dissecting, just you can you should have plenty of time to grab the ghost, go to the room and wait for the call out. And the idea there is each ghost needs to go to the correct statue. The dead people can see one correct statue 
and never themselves. So they see one statue and say, hey, this is so-and-so statue. This is why at this encounter, we separate each other's ghosts to not look alike at all. And the helmets or the cloak for the hunters, we make sure, you know, they are very defined and no one looks alike that way. The water bottle ghost, everyone would know it goes to a warlock with a big fat forehead, right? It's just got a big tall forehead, right? So like a priest's head in a movie. And then it's like, okay, now I go back to dissecting shapes. So I see a cone in the middle. You can see it behind the wing of that bird. And I, I take a moment to show everything off. So now I need to kill knights again. I have a cylinder on the right, which the shape is a triangle. And it looks like the cylinder is correct. It looks like I've made all of the shapes. I'm probably going to go double check the far left side to make sure. Um, that one's ready, but I think I step back here to show it off. So I've already stumbled into the correct locks with what my moves were, right? Even though I made true sh shapes in the beginning, I was able to take those true shapes and knew, okay, I need to do this and this and we're good to go, right? So my goal is to make the locks. Now, let me explain that. If we look at the bottom right corner where it says CST, the circle, right? The circle means I don't want a circle to the left. I want the square and the triangle there, right? So to, for me to make the lock for the inside room to come out on the circle statue, which is the far left one, I needed a prism. So I wanted a triangle and square. So I would make sure I shifted a triangle square to there, right? Um, once you make one correct lock, you're literally one move away from completing the puzzle, right? So you make one correct lock, you're just one more dissect away, like between two statues, to completing the puzzle, um, and you're good to go. So there's the cone in that hand, there is the prism in that hand, just looks like a longer triangle, and then we've seen the cylinder on the far right. So I tell people, all right, the locks are open, or the, uh, the you know, the locks are ready, and I just come back here and I chill, I kill some ads where I can, right, there's nothing else to really do. A fourth person just came out of the room. I go over here to double check. I'm like, hey, are you... Someone's like, I can't get out. And I'm like, are you sure? Maybe I'm just showing this off for the YouTube video. Yeah, I show off the completed shapes, right? That's the cone. The first one was the prism. That's the cone. That's a cylinder. And then I come back here. We're still waiting for one more person to come out. I think they're waiting for their enemies to spawn so they can drop their shapes properly. There we go. All three. Now, unstops are going to spawn. Hopefully, we succeed at the ghost part here. I'm not sure. Because I did the uh, dissecting way early in this encounter, and I think that's where we had the most problems. I don't really, really remember. But once again, the goal here is once you kill all the ads, right, you want to die separated from your team, right? And whoever's alive would walk over to someone's ghost, right? Or to someone's, you know, frozen guardian, pick up their ghost and say, and at this point, once again, you would just say, hey, I'm looking for this person's statue, right? So I'm looking at you. Let's see where Arctic picks up. Arctic's like, oh, I know. I'm going to go pick up. Uh, Who does he pick up? He picks up Born's ghost, right? So he picks up like a bat ghost, I believe. And he's like, okay, where is this hunter with the spikes at the back of his head, right? Because he had like the needle spike neck. Um, So he picks up that ghost. Someone tells him, hey, he's over here. So he runs over there, puts it in there, and that revives Born. Then he picks up the next ghost. And he's like, hey, where does this ghost go? Right, and someone had told him, and then he picks up my ghost. He's like, Hey, where does Ken's ghost go? Someone told Ken wrong, so he suffered the consequences there. Um, if you put the ghost in the wrong spot, you die. So it's very important for that first one to be correct. They revive that person. Unfortunately, we don't get to see me do it because um well, unfortunately I get I think I get revived. Yeah, last. And we completed it. So that is dissecting the rinse and repeat. Let me give you the TLDR once again. For you dissecting, your main goal is when the inside people go in and they say, hey, it's a, you know, from left to right, it's circle, square, and triangle in that order, right? That means on the left, I want to have a, I don't want any circles on the left. I don't want any squares in the middle, and I don't want any triangles on the right. And then we reference this photo again. So you can write this down in Discord or something, right? So you can have, you know, you can understand what you're doing. Um, rule number one is for the dissecting person, uh, whatever shape is called out per statue, 
you don't want that shape in that hand, right? So because it was a circle, square, and a triangle for me, the rule would be um, whatever shape they call out from left to right, I need to make sure that shape is not in that statue. That's the first rule. And you get that first rule down, right? And you'll be halfway to completed it. Rule number two is I don't want any true shape, which is these. If I have a sphere, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. If I have a sphere, a cube, or a pyramid, I've messed up. I don't want any of those there either. So if I see one of those, I've messed up. If you get those two rules correctly, you end up with the victory side, right? You have each shape that needs to happen if you just follow those two rules. Now, I guess, I, I guess I'll talk about the mechanic real quick where how do we dissect the shapes? When you kill a knight and pick up a shape and you dunk it into a statue, you're telling that statue, hey, I want to move that shape somewhere else. So then you would pick up a second, a second shape, put it in another statue that has that shape, and you're telling that statue, hey, I want this statue's shape. I want this shape to move out of the statue. And because you've connected two, it's going to shift the two shapes that you dunked, right? That's what it means to dissect. You're subtracting from the statues in, in a manner, right? So... I hope this video helps. It's I promise you, with repetition, you'll get it down. You'll get it complete. Um, uh, a tip, one more tip. Do not be afraid to wait for the shape you're looking for. So if you come in and you make a correct lock right away and you know it's correct, you, you just know it, you know it, you know it, and you pick up a shape and you put it into the next statue and it's like, okay, this is the shape I need to move. And then you go to grab the third shape, and it's not the shape you need. Don't grab it. Just just let it despawn. Just leave it on the ground. It'll despawn, right? The ogre will spawn up. You'll kill the ogres, right? And this groom gets unstop ogres. And th when you kill them, it'll respawn the knights, and then grab the very correct shape. There is nothing wrong with waiting in this room, waiting for the correct shape towards the end. In the beginning, just just move stuff around, right? Get get used to moving stuff around. Don't be afraid to fail, right? Because once you start seeing, oh, I made a mistake and the repetition kicks in, you're going to excel and get more proficient at it. This is a repetition thing. Uh, this encounter is, is pure repetition, right? You understand what needs to ha You understand how the mechanics work and then you put it into practice. And the more you practice it, the better you're going to get. So hopefully this video helps. If it does, let me know in the comment section below that it helped. If it doesn't, let me know where it loses you. I can either talk to you in the comment section or maybe I can have an updated video at a later time that really explains it in a much more thorough fashion, right? So anyway, um, I could even maybe do a live commentary recording where I record my thought process instead of just talking over the footage like I am now. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Enjoy your night, evening, morning, whatever it may be. Peace out, and I will see you all next time.